Where am I? Welcome to Expat American. Today we are going to be going into one of the most famous bookstores in Moscow. Looks a little scary. Is Moscow a scary place? The question for this video is, do Russians read American books, novels, or rather English novels, books, and stories that are famous in the West? So we're going to go inside. Two years into the special military operation, are there books on the shelves? Because guys, there's only less than 5,000 US citizens in Russia. So if there are books for sale, they're in English, that's because Russians want to read them. Welcome to Expat American. I am the Expat American, not her. <laughs> hey. Find out what's going on right now. Red Square is clear. There's usually something yeah, yeah, yeah. in the Thursday. middle of it, but it's Thursday. I know. Yeah, I guess just keep rolling if you can. Be kind of subtle with the camera in case they don't want us to film. Talk loudly if you feel inspired to say something. Okay. Action. Oh, we started. We're rolling. I <laughs> said, who are you? I'm the guy who always wants to know if Russia is a scary place. Oh no, that's her dad. Yes, <laughs> here he is, expat American back there. Okay. Put it on. Any comments in the context about that? Yeah. I don't like this angle or the or my hair. Can we do this differently? Bro, where are you taking us? We're going to a bookstore that I like. It's called Biblio Globus. Uh, there's a lot of uh, books in different languages, and it has the most. Um, it used to have the largest collection of English books, but now there aren't that many English books left. I bought Don't them all. Don't give away the video. <laughs> Sorry. Here? Yes. Now I wanted to show the windows of the store. I wanted to do the intro here. They change the windows every... I don't know. They change the windows often. I like to walk by the store whenever I'm in the center to see what different characters are there and what books they're advertising. I see that they have a Beatles book, uh, like a book about the Beatles, the band. If you're not too young, then I think you know what that is. They have some stuff with uh, autumn fashion. Aurora's just taking over the show. <laughs> yes, it's my channel now. You guys can go to my channel if you'd like, um, but I don't post there. Ever. Uh, now we're gonna go into the entrance. Uh, we're still mic'd up so we can talk. Um, Looks like we're Harry Potter's teachers uh, by their textbooks. Exactly, and their magic wands. Yeah, I guess just keep rolling if you can. Be kind of subtle with the camera in case they don't want us to film. I think it's fine. I don't think they care. Look, it's Alex's favorite person. Elon Musk. So Russians are interested in Elon Musk. Obviously. Uh, well, it's not obvious to everyone. 
We're going to go to the second floor because uh -huh. that's where all the um, books in foreign languages are. Um, so what do you know about this place, Aurora? Uh, I know that they have English books that I like, books in English. Section of foreign languages or international languages or modern languages, whichever you decide to use. Is this whole floor um, foreign books? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Um, Oh, another book that Alex likes by Jordan Peterson, 12 Rules for Life. In English. Yes, exactly. I'm and I've got sure. his sequel also. Does Alex have it? Should we buy it for him? I'm not going to buy that for him. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Whenever I'm in this bookstore, I immediately go to this section because when I moved here, they had a lot of these Macmillan's... Um, collector's books and I have a lot of these in my room. They're small, they fit into my purse easily and they're aesthetically pleasing. But now as you can see there's only two left. There's Alice in Wonderland. You can come closer Ben. Mm -hmm. There's Alice's, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and then another one but they used to have like four shelves full of them but now because they can't really receive as many shipments from um, other countries, there is less of them, sadly. But if you don't know what you want to get me for Christmas, I want these books Tell me. by Jane Austen. <laughs> she has a collection set. Um, Alice in Wonderland? Oh, no, you no, want that style. No, no I want Austen. this style. Yeah, I knew you had that style already. From, from Macmillan's collection for $53.90 on Amazon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, so this is, um, oh, I have this in America. Um, this exact, the Brothers Grimm in English. This exact um, book. And here's some more uh, English American books. You can come this direction. And let's see. I think over here, yeah, over here. Um, these are books that are half uh, English, half Russian. So can you hold this for a second? Thank you. Um, so, for example, Animal Farm by George Orwell, they have... So they have it in English and then they have it in Russian? No, they have it in English and then they have uh, like a list of words in the back with their translations and how to pronounce them, um, like with the, in the transcripts. Uh, okay. Put it on. See, so these are the difficulties when you have a really tall person and a not so tall person. You can't, that? No, that's awful. <laughs> I thought I would see like 40 books, like 40 classics, mm -hmm. like English classics, American, British and whatnot. But it's like two full rooms. Of, it's more than two. It's, there's like four rooms. Of like everything. Uh, it, it appears so. It appears to be every classic you could want. And then as I continue to browse, I saw like books I didn't even recognize in English, mixed in with, with modern books I recognize. So that means they don't just have classics, but they have like kind of like everything. Um, and then I even saw graphic novels, and they also had um, like textbooks to learn English and textbooks to learn Russian. Mm -hmm. So am I missing something? Uh, I also noticed they have a lot of uh, classic books where uh, half the page is in Russian and half the page is in, is in English for people that are trying to learn uh, to read in Russian, but they're not at the level where they can only read in English. They have to read in Russian to translate. Oh, right. There's also books where it's completely in English, and then in the back of the book there's a vocabulary list with where every word is translated into Russian. Right, right, right. And um, I've noticed that, like, because I was surprised when I met my wife and, and started vacationing here and just listened to her talk. Like, she... Um, grew up reading Gone with the Wind, and she'll often say, I'll think about it tomorrow, which is something Scarlett O'Hara says. And also, um, Mark Twain, that is a big deal here. It's part of their curriculum, they really like it. Which also impressed me, you know, that Russia is looking at traditional America and they're teaching it to their children. Mm -hmm. There's also books for people that are learning Russian, uh, and like they have, Russian classics like Anna Karenina or White Knights, um, where it's 
They've taken these books, they've simplified the Russian, uh, and then they have questions after each chapter uh, to help people that are trying to learn Russian, uh, learn how to read, and understand what they're reading. I think that it makes sense why they kicked us out. We were too obnoxious and loud. <laughs> I told the cameraman to be subtle. <laughs> well, you talk very loud. Was there anything else you wanted to show us in Russia? I'm a big guy. Okay. Four strangers speaking English. Loudly. Loudly, <laughs> as loud Americans do. <laughs> and uh, they saw us on camera and they wanted to know what we were doing there. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> very interesting. So the librarian, the manager maybe, she looked in charge. Mm -hmm. So she comes and she very politely asks, who are we? So we explained that we are famous YouTubers in Moscow, famous. and we are creating video content for a Western audience because she did ask who our target audience was, mm -hmm. and I said it was Westerners. So she said, no problem, you can continue to film, but you will need uh, permission, and there's a form that we would have to fill in. No problem, but we respected them and we stopped filming mm -hmm. until we had authorization. The authorization papers never came. Yeah. So, uh, but to be fair, we only waited about 10, 15 yeah, minutes. We, we, we understand. We understand right, how yeah. it works. So we uh, graciously left. Uh, right now we're walking by uh, some people that are touring Moscow. These types of tour excursions are quite popular, not only here in Moscow, but all over Russia. Mm -hmm. Excursia is that. the word in uh, Russian Nikolskaya Ulitsa. Now ah. we remember. Now I remember the name of the street. Art. We are on Nikolskaya Ulitsa. This is right next to Goom Mall and Red Square, mm -hmm. and it's a very touristy and famous city walk right. in Moscow. And if you, if we can pause for just a moment, and you see this building. <laughs> right there. Yes. That yellow building with the big ball on top, that is the ex-KGB headquarters during the Soviet Union. It is now uh, the headquarters for the FSB. Wow. Yeah, very cool. It's called, well, that street is back in Lubyanka. Yeah. <laughs> very cool. So, lots of history here, lots of uh, intrigue, and just, just imagine how many spies walked these streets, the, this pedestrian path that we are on. It's just, it's amazing. You gotta come to Moscow, you gotta come visit, you gotta come experience it, because although I'm always asking if it's a scary place, it really isn't. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in the bookstore, did you happen to see if there were any books in Spanish or books for teaching Spanish or learning Spanish? Or you know, like it's that? very interesting because I did not, but I did find a whole slew of books in English. Uh, J.K. Rowling, uh, mm -hmm. Frank Herbert, Dune, uh, yes. Cat in the Hat. <laughs> there are a lot children's of children's books, books yeah. are there as well. And Aurora, also you mentioned that there were some books that are a dual language, yes, Russian half and in English. English. Half in Russian. Yes. So it's very interesting because you would have to ask yourself as a Westerner, what are English books doing in Moscow? Mm -hmm. There's only, what, 5,000? Yeah, 5,000 5, uh, American. American citizens living in Russia. Who are these books for? Right. So I'm not going to answer that question. I want you, the viewer, to think about it and answer that question. Mm -hmm. But I think it's very, very interesting. Right. As I mentioned in the bookstore, but I'm not sure if it was caught on camera, less books are being shipped to the bookstore after the special military operation. And if I used to be able to find a large amount of books uh, to read for university, I had to start um, downloading books on a Kindle to read because there just aren't there just aren't that many options, and I can't order everything online here, unfortunately. But well, that's good for people to know. Yeah. So. I want to be honest here, if you're planning on moving to Russia and you speak in, you read in English mostly, you should probably buy a Kindle to download books. 
I just realized I'm chewing gum for this scene, which is, <laughs> everyone's gonna say, oh yeah, typical American chewing gum. I was, I never buy gum. I was just given this gum by our Slavic cameraman. Mm -hmm. And uh, gum is actually not good for your teeth. Uh, so <laughs> don't chew gum, everyone. Well, if you're going to chew gum, only chew gum without sugar. And here in Russia, they usually sell gum without sugar. I've noticed that. Bez sahara means no sugar, just so you know, but you won't be able to read that. Uh, they might be able to read it if they learn how to speak and read in Russian. You can ask Alex to be your Russian tutor. You could include his at. I'm pretty sure he's looking for students. Yeah, I do that in every video. <laughs> so what'd you think of that, guys? I think it's pretty cool. I mean, if you're an American or a Westerner and you're thinking of moving here, perhaps vacationing here, I think it's very interesting to know that Russians are not that different. The stories we appreciate are the stories they appreciate as well. Click like, subscribe, ring the bell notification, click the box to see what happens next, which is going to be what, Eddie? Now. Make sure you click and go over to my channel where you're going to watch a video about how an American celebrates his 50th anniversary, his 50th birthday here in Moscow. With the three of us, right? Actually with the three of us and a few some, other people, people, some other people. Some other people. They might yeah. recognize. And you might recognize some of those. So don't wait. Come over now. Now if you're Russian, do you also get to celebrate the same way I'm about to? Yeah. Go. Okay. As I mentioned in the video, uh, now I'm getting nervous because he's recording it. <laughs> it's not live, ding dong. <laughs> no. Bookstore person comes to us and asks, uh, who are you? Can we call her a librarian? Or no? Oh, we can call her a librarian. Okay, let me rephrase. <laughs> so, the... Where am I? Welcome to Expat American. Today we're going to be going into this bookstore. One of the most famous bookstores in Moscow. That was pretty good, except for the motorcycle. I can't. Well, I don't Let like the angle. Let me be the cinematographer. Well, I don't want to be in Yeah, well, come, to come take a look. I don't like it. Can you hold it more like this and more like this? And now we are walking on, uh, where, 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 what is this? Uh, I don't know. Uh, on a very nice street. I don't I'm know. trying to remember the name of the street. Uh, Holy crap. What is the name of the street here? Uh, I don't know. Well, we'll edit this out. They're switching mics. So, yeah, sure. Put this way. And Aurora, you can ask any who he is for people who don't know. Who and I will are you? Who, who am I? Just walk behind you guys. Uh-huh. Okay. We're recording. So for bloopers. So for bloopers. Okay. Well, so what did, what did you ask? That's good. Cool. I'll uh, chop it up. I think we're going this way. We're going to. Goose Duma to meet with Dima Kuznetsov. Okay, put that in the video. Читать классическую литературу. Possibly due to the fact that these uh, elitists in the Western countries have stopped reading classical literature. И у них упал культурный уровень. And their cultural level has fallen. Для для блага всего человечества. Which is why I highly recommend that uh, these elitists and everyone reads these uh, books by Leo Tolstoy. Любая какая нравится. Like any of his books. Решения необходимые благу всего человечества. By reading it, they will widen, uh, they will expand their mind and uh, have a better conscience. Something like that. American elites need open-minded <laughs> and <laughs> higher cultural level. Yes, uh, um, American elites need to open their minds and have a higher cultural level, like you just said in English. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. Cool. 